all right guys uh, welcome back to another video in this video we'll be seeing about a com uh, concept of uh, computer vision that is open cv in which we are going to see contours so some of, uh, some of you might have done the uh, contours uh, might have used in object detection and things but uh, the basic definition of contours means that it is a single point connecting to the borders of a given moving figure uh, indirectly creating the shape of the moving figure so it will just create a border around the moving figure the purpose for it is to uh, detect or um, recognize something which is moving the purpose is same in this video as well so this is a code for detecting um, something which is moving within the frame I've, I've taken a a uh, small video that is a small uh, CCTV footage and uh, trying to uh, detect whatever is moving within that frame so for that you need to know some basics of uh, CV that is open CV and NumPy so this is a code you can pause and see it is still under development I am trying to do something bit more on it but for now it can detect the purpose of detecting a moving object so this is the code and I'll just show you the output in this we are not trying to uh, use the uh, cascade files for detecting a human but we are using contours so to know more on contours you can see the documentation of OpenCV it is given in a really good manner so you can go and check that out i'll just uh, put the uh, uh, description i'll just put in the description below so i'll just show you the output so yeah this is the exact purpose so what is what it actually does is that it will detect whatever moving within the frame whatever which is moving within the frame so this line over here is also moving the humans are also moving and it is trying to create a border around it when it comes to detecting uh, a human okay it's done when it comes to detecting a human uh, using the uh, cascade files it will not be that accurate as contours the main difference is that um, between the hair cascade and the contours is that it will on uh, the cascade will only detect humans as well as uh, what it recognizes as humans uh, even if it's a stand or something like that it will try to detect that too but when it um, when uh, talking about contours it will just detect whatever is moving so i'll just uh, reduce the frame over here 20 try to run that there's more speed right so huh, yeah you can reduce the frame rate over here using reducing this try 50 it may reduce yes it has reduced so this is how you can uh, use the concept of contours for detecting whatever which is moving inside the frame so you can observe over here the line over here is also moving so it is trying to detect that too around its border and as well as the humans around it now what I'm trying to do over here is that I'm trying to uh, differentiate between the humans and other moving objects and trying to uh, save that file uh, for when a human is detected so for example if a human comes inside a room or etc I will try to detect and save that into a um, avi file or something like that only that portion of it so it is under um, under development process and uh, i'll try i'll try to update it later but this is the basic purpose of contours this is the code i'll just explain you the code so here i've just given the dependencies and the main function so with this i'm taking out the video file which is cctv footage and this is the if else for if it's not open then close and if it's not closed then it should be as steady as it is and this is the while function while loop and whatever uh, which is happening is 
in within this while loop itself so return frame these are multiple uh, this is the abstract difference so there are two frames given and it will find the difference between those two frames so if you see the documentation of OpenCV it is given pretty good in it so go and refer that and uh, the main function for contours is this is the single line for contours to finding contours within a given frame cv2 dot find contours yeah and this is the frame one this is the weight key destroy the windows and etc the code will be available in the description so let's run the output and show you again so this is the output so thanks for watching this video guys and stay tuned for the update of this video and uh, again thanks for watching